Hi, I'm Mark Shavar, store manager of Mez Outdoor Equipment Supply and Ace Hardware, and today we're going to talk about lawn seeding and fixing the bare spots in your lawn as well. If you have an, you know, an early spring, you know, it's a good opportunity to seed grass that has you know, bad spots. Maybe they're bare or possibly the yard's kind of thin. And you know, when you have that, then you need to come in and to mows and go through the selection of grass seed that we carry here. We do carry a lot of different varieties. We have the sun and shade mix, which is our, generally our most popular mix. We also have tall fescue. And then we have others, you know, some are for like uh, heat tolerant grass. Um, there's some that's a fall mix. You know, again, there's a lot of different varieties there. We've got our classic grass seed. And we also have what they call the easy seed you know, products as well. And finally, there's the patch master. We'll talk about each of the grass seeds here, kind of individually here. Sun and Shade Mix is generally made up of red fescue, uh, Kentucky bluegrass, and ryegrass. It's an all-purpose grass seed that's designed to fill in you know, thin lawns or spots in the yard where you know, maybe it's exposed to some sun, some shade. Um, tall fescue is another grass that works really, really well. As far as how you do the application of seeding in that, uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and get a spreader, whether a hand spreader or a, a lawn spreader, and set it at the recommended settings that are on the back of these bags here. We also have our easy seeds here, the different bags there. One's a tall fescue, the other one's a sun and shade, either in a shaker or a bag. And these are really good for bare spots. You know, people that have bare spots in the yard want an easy fix. Sometimes they just go ahead and buy regular grass seed and kind of throw it down. You really need to prepare your yard for grass seed. What you're going to generally do is, if you got a bare spot, go ahead and, and, and kind of rake it with a rake. Or if you got like a, you know, maybe a little small shovel. You know, what you want to do is break the soil up, get it loose, put the grass seed down. Sometimes some people will put down some straw on top of the grass seed so the birds don't want to eat it. And there's other things that you can do. Like say our easy seed is designed, it actually has what they call, it's actually coconut ground up, coconut shell, and it's kind of brown and, uh, brownish orange in color, and it has a seed and it also has a golden fertilizer. Okay, when you have the, the bare spot, you've prepped it by you know, getting the ground all settled in that, you put the seed down in that. With the easy seed, or like again with the regular grass seed, if you're going to put straw in it there, you want to go ahead and, and get it wet. And it's going to take seven to ten days to germinate. How do you know how long to keep it, you know, keep wetting the thing? Obviously in the spring, Mother Nature, if it rains, it's going to you know, water it for you. But you know, what you want to do with your easy seed is look to see if the uh, coconut shell, again, it's kind of an orange color. If it's dark brown, it means it's wet enough. If it turns to an orange color, then what happens is that you need to uh, go ahead and, and put water down because that way it gives it a chance to grow properly. Once it germinates, you want the grass to grow to two inches tall before you cut it the very first time. That way it's able to establish a strong root. The old standby for grass seed is Patch Master. There's some folks that like using this because it's really easy to do. It's, you know, it works about the same way as the Easy Seed, but it's been around a lot longer. Basically, it's mulch, seed, and fertilizer in one. So again, you're going to prep your grass you know, spots where you have the bare spots again, uh, kind of break the soil up, and then you go ahead and put this Patch Master down. So basically, you're patching the holes in your yard. And once you do that again, same type of thing, you're gonna go ahead and water it and wait for it to germinate seven to 10 days and then just keep you know, watering it until the grass seeds have a chance to establish a strong root. And once it gets to about two inches tall, you can start cutting it. Hopefully this has answered your questions about seeding grass, whether it's a new lawn, uh, existing lawn, or if you just got bare spots that you wanna kinda of touch up. Again, my name is Mark Shabar, store manager of Mez Outdoor Equipment Supply and Ace Hardware. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by the store here, check us out on our Facebook page, or go to our website at buyatmez.com. Thanks.